Hello students. Today we are going to discuss a poem by a well-known American poet Robert Frost and the name of the poem is The Roadside Stand. Here the what is the meaning of roadside stand? A stand or stall set up by the rural people outside the urban area to sell their local produce so that they may earn some money. It means the setting of the poem is the landscape outside the urban area and the tone of the poem is melancholic. Melancholic means sad because the poet here highlights the pathetic condition or the plight of the rural people who want to earn some money but they are not able to because no urban people are interested in buying their produce rather they criticize them and complain that they have spoiled the beautiful landscape of the nature but the poet has opposite views about them as he says that the urban people have double standard as they show that they are the social workers or the well-wishers of these people but they exploit them. Here are some glossary words of the poem. Out here, out means extended, edge means the boundary or the border of something, sped. Sped is the second form of speed. It means the here we are talking about the vehicles moving very fast on the road. Pathetically means in a way that arouses pity in our heart. Plagged is the past form of plead which means an emotional appeal or request. It would not be fair to say means it is not true. A doll of bread means a portion of food given as charity. Here you can say bhik mangana. Support means to provide money to live and the flowers of cities means the growth, rich people or you can say the pleasures or the luxuries, comforts of the cities. Sinking means falling or descending. You can say dubna. Weathering means sukh jana, wrinkling or discolor ho jana. Faint means kisi cheez ka collapse khatam ho jana ya fir toot jana. The little old house was out with a little new shed. In front at the edge of the road where the traffic sped. A roadside stand that too pathetically plagued. It would not be fair to say for a doll of bread, but for some of the money, the cash whose flow supports the flower of cities from sinking and withering faint. Here you can see a little old house was out. Here out means extended with a little new shed. The house is old but a new shed, a new stall has been set up in front at the edge. Edge means boundary or kinare par of the road where the traffic sped. Here sped means the second form of speed. It means the traffic is going on at a very high speed. And a roadside stand that has been set up there pathetically plagued. 
फ्लैग मीन्स टू अपील रिक्वेस्ट कर देता है पैथेटिकली मीन्स इन एन इमोशनल वे वट इज द अपील और द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ द रोड साइड स्टैंड और द पीपल ऑफ द ओनर्स ऑफ दिस स्टैंड इट वुड नॉट बी फेयर टू से फॉर एट डॉल ऑफ ब्रेड दे हैव नॉट सेट अप दैट शेड फॉर अ डोल ऑफ ब्रेड मीन्स दे आर नॉट आस्किंग फॉर ब्रेड दे आर नॉट बैगिंग हियर but for some of the money they have set up this for getting some money for earning some money the cash why they want some cash because the cash can give them some comforts of life whose flow means when the cash flows it supports the flower of cities from sinking and withering faint here the flower of cities means the comforts the pleasures the growth that the city people enjoy because of the circulation of the money as the flower needs water for um, its growth the circulation of water is essential for the growth of flower the circulation of money is also essential for life to become prosperous and avoid it from sinking and withering as without money life sinks and withers as a flower sinks and withers as you can say एक फूल सूख जाता है बिना पानी के इन द सेम वे अ लाइफ इज नॉट पॉसिबल विदाउट वेल्थ और मनी एज दीज रूरल पीपल आर नॉट आस्किंग फॉर बैगिंग इट वुड नॉट बी फेयर टू से फॉर ए डॉल ऑफ ब्रेड फॉर बैगिंग it means these people want to earn money with their hard work it, and they have self respect the next stanza is the polished traffic passed with a mind ahead or if ever aside a moment then out of sorts at having the landscape marred with the artless paint of signs that with n turned wrong and s turned wrong offered for sale wild berries in wooden quads or crook necked golden squash with silver wards or beauty rests in a beautiful mountain scene you have the money but if you want to be mean why keep your money this closely and go along the glossary of this paragraph is the polished traffic here you can say the new cars that are speeding on the roads here polished traffic means polished people where the people show that they are polite they are graceful स्टाइलिश एंड कॉन्फिडेंट आउट ऑफ सोर्ट्स ये एक मुहावरा है इट मीन्स इरिटेबल और कंप्लेनिंग मार्ड मीन्स टू स्पॉइल समथिंग क्वार्ट्स मीन्स बोटल्स और कंटेनर्स गोल्डन स्क्वैश इज ए फ्रूट फ्रॉम द गॉड गॉड मीन्स घिया फ्रॉम दैट फैमिली दैट लुक्स लाइक the gold silver wards means any rounded excrescence on the skin of animals and plants wards you can say jaise karele ke upar kuch ubhre hue scales hote hain wo use wards kehte hain hindi mein ise massa bhi keh sakte hain aur aap dekh lijiye jo dikhne mein thoda ganda lagta hai here mean means 
the person who is not kind hearted and not willing to impart money you can say kanjus hona or ek ghatiya insaan hona crossly means ill natured manner mein ya fir unfortunately let's discuss line to line explanation the polish the traffic polish the traffic means the people who think that they are confident they are stylish they passed with a mind ahead ahead means samne dekhna it means they are not interested in looking at the stalls they are not interested in buying the goods of those rural people who are in hope that they will buy something and they could get on money but the urban people they have their mind ahead their mind is only at their destination or if ever or kabhi agar unhone dekh bhi liya side par aside a moment then out of sorts out of sorts means they just complain for what they are complaining here at having the landscape marred marred means spoil landscape means natural beauty that they have established their roadside stand here and because of this they have spoiled the natural beauty with the artless paint of signs as they have put some sign boards of the directions here with n turned wrong n signifies north direction and s signifies the south direction but they have put this sign boards they have make it right in an improper way in an artless way that's why it is spoiling the landscape the beauty of the nature they are not looking for what they are here they are just complaining offered for sale they are not looking at the goods that has been offered for sale what they are selling there they are selling wild berries in wooden quarts quarts means containers or crook necked golden squash crook means muda hua hona means what they are selling that is ill shaped with silver wards i have discussed with you what is the meaning of wards wards means kuch ubhra hua part hona it means the product the produce they are selling is of not good quality even there is beauty that rest in a beautiful mountain scene but still they are not ready to look at all these things as their mind is ahead you have the money here the poet speaks that these people have the money but if you want to be me if you are not kind hearted why keep your money this crossly here crossly means in an irritable manner angrily the poet asks them if you are mean you keep your money with yourself and go alone don't stop here the next part is the heart to the scenery would not be my complaint so much as the trusting sorrow of what is unsaid here far from the city we make our roadside stand and ask for some city money to feel in hand to try if it will not make our being expand and give us the life of the moving pictures promise that the party in power is said to be keeping from us the glossary words of this stanza are hurt means harm trusting sorrow means peasants had trust that they would buy something here 
that had been broken by this urban people. Unsaid means that has not been said or spoken. City money means the money that the city people have. Here being means existence, living or reality. Expand means to increase, to make it prosperous. The life of the moving pictures promise means the comfortable life shown on the theater as when we see movies it shows that whenever somebody works hard he gets comforts of life it promises that the hard work gives the comfortable life the party in power means the ruling party or you can say the government keep from means stop or prevent something here the poet speaks in favor of these poor people as he says that he knows they it has harmed the uh, beauty. The heart to the scenery would not be my complaint as the urban people have complained them that they have marred, they have spoiled the natural beauty but the poet is not going to complain about it because so much as the trusting sorrow here trusting sorrow means the people had trust that they could sell something and would have comforts of life but the sorrow they are facing is unsaid as they are not sharing it with anybody what type of sorrow they are facing the poet is here just going to imagine what they are thinking. Here far from the city we make our roadside stand. The poet is imagining that what they are thinking that they have set up their roadside stand and they are not begging just asking for some city money by selling their produce as they want to feel in hand the cash the money that they had and they want to try if it will not make our being expand our being miss our life expand that if they are not going to get anything from the urban people or their life is not going to improve and give us the life of the moving pictures promise. As they have dreamed that their life is going to change after setting up this roadside stand. But it has not happened. And even the party, the government in power is said to be keeping from us. It means that is not helping them. It is in the news that all these pitiful kin are to be bought out and mercifully gathered in to live in villages next to the theatre and the store where they won't have to think for themselves anymore. While greedy good doers, beneficent beasts of prey, swarm over their lives and forcing benefits that are calculated to soothe them out of their wits and by teaching them how to sleep they all day destroy their sleeping at night the ancient way and forcing means compelling Calculated means done with full awareness, means in a clever way of the likely consequences. Soothe means to calm gently or reduce or ease pain. Out of which means to make somebody nervous or worried, frustrated. But here out of which means out of their intelligence and understanding. The ancient way means the old way. 
pitiful means in a miserable condition kin means one's family and relatives bought out means to pay money to your business partner so that you can control it here it means that their land will be bought and they will be relocated outside the urban area mercifully means luckily good doers means who does good for others means the social workers beneficent means generous bade dil ke hona udar dil ka hona beast of prey means aise janwar jo दूसरों का शिकार करते हैं बीस्ट मीन्स जानवर एंड प्रे मीन्स शिकार करना हियर मीन्स अ पर्सन हु इज क्रूअल एंड रूथ लेस टू अदर्स स्वाम मीन्स भीड़ में इकट्ठा हो जाना थ्रोंग और गैदर्ड हियर द एक्सप्लेनेशन इज दैट इट इज इन द न्यूज इट मीन्स it has been highlighted in the news that all these pitiful kin means their relatives their families are to be bought out means unki land khareed li jayegi and they will be relocated they will be removed from here and they will be relocated and mercifully gathered and they will happily gathered in to live in villages next to the theater ki wo kahan rehne wale hain theater ke paas and the store where they won't have to think for themselves any more jahan par unhe apne bare mein ab zyada sochne ki zarurat nahi padegi because the government the authorities or you can say the good doers have promised them that now they need not worry about their future even the poet calls them greedy good doers how it can be that they are greedy as well as good doers as they are just showing them that they have concern for them but actually they are exploiting them they are beneficent beasts of prey as they are here just to exploit them with their intelligent or cunning or shrewd strategies they swarm over their lives and forcing benefits they show them that they are giving them benefits of life that are calculated but these benefits given to them are very calculated here these rich people are just thinking about their benefit and they are showing that they are calculated to soothe them out of their wits they are showing them that they want to soothe them they want to make their life tension free out of their wit out of their understanding their intelligence but and by teaching them how to sleep they sleep all day destroy their sleeping at night the ancient way as i have told you that the authorities the developers they are very calculative and they are just be fooling them and in this way they ensure them that they will provide them a better life and this better life will give them good sleep but they actually sleep peacefully themselves only the rich people are able to sleep peacefully and they destroy their sleep at night in the ancient way they used to sleep at night and work during the day but now the process has been reversed by them as 
now they are not able to work hard and they have lost their sleep at night as these urban people have double standards who promise to improve the standard of living of these poor farmers and show them the rosy side of life here rosy side of life means the comfortable life but when the time comes to deliver their promise they either forget them or fulfill them keeping in view of their own benefits only in this way these poor people become the prey you can say wo unka shikar ban jate hain and they lose their sleep their peaceful sleep at night these poor people are robbed of their peaceful mind by these clever people it means the greedy politicians befool these poor countryside people they shower some benefits upon them and convince them that they won't have to worry any more and all their problems will be taken care for but as soon as they feel relaxed they leave everything on these politicians and they are robbed of their faith as they are trapped in their cunning strategies or planning 